On this part, we are going to add the update and the delete methods in the entity base repository. In Visual Studio, go to the entity base repository and then in here search for the update async. So we are going to first implement the update async method. Let us add the async keyword in front of the task. And then in here, we're going to use the entity entry class or entity entry. Import the namespace for the entity entry and that belongs to the entity framework core dot change tracking. And this is equal to underscore context dot entry. We are going to set the T and then pass as a parameter the entity parameter that you have in the update async. And then to update an entry using the entity framework, what you are going to do is that you need to set the state of this entry. So for that entity entry dot state, and this state is going to be the entity state. So entity state, this is an enum dot modified. And this is all you need to do in this part. And then in here you can also return the entity entry, which is going to be the updated version of the entry, or you can simply just remove the return, but then you need to go to the update async, so in the I entity base repository, and change the return type from task T to just task, and then go to the entity base repository, remove in here the T, and you'll see that the error is gone. Now to implement the delete functionality, I'll simply copy these two lines, so control C, and then just paste them up here. And then we are going to first get the entity from the database of so var entity is equal to, and I'm going to use this code. So we are going to just first set the entity and then just first or default async. So we have an error, let us just add the async up here. The error is gone. And then we are just going to change the entity entry state from modified to be deleted.